Final stretch of 2024, what to expect in the DC metro housing market. Let's talk about all the metro movements. We're talking about election, unemployment going up, recession worries, stock market in a big swing on the micro level with DC metro. So obviously we are a little bit more sensitive with the election years, the turnovers happens left or right. So stay tuned on my updates when it comes to post election of this year. So let's talk about what to expect in the final stretch, bigger monster, NER settlement. I get asked all the time, V2, what's the impact of the NER settlement? For now, with the shift in the market, I'm not seeing a direct shift on the impact of the NER settlement, which means that the sellers continue to pay our buyer broker commissions. Buyer understands that they need to sign the buyer broker agreement if they want to be represented and want to see the home. So those are the big changes. But indirectly or directly, not a major movement as a 20 year veteran realtor, I'm seeing it. Home seller, this is your time not to test the market with overpricing your home. Again, be sensitive. The buyers have choices at the moment with the light, right um, staging, listing strategy, marketing strategy. You can still receive a multiple offers on your listing in the 2024 end of the year market. Home buyers, yes, you do have choices. Condo buyers, ample of choices. But my single family home still continues to struggle. Truly the fact that a lot of homeowners are overhousing with the low interest rate that they're still ball change to. And if they don't have to move, they're not motivated to sell. So be realistic on how you want to craft your offer. There are negotiations available. According to Smart Chart, we're seeing about 99.7% from the original list price to the final sales price in the Northern Virginia pockets. In some cases, we are seeing a little bit over the asking, but nothing crazy what we saw this past spring or in the past few years. Pricing. That's always a big question. A lot of the people want to know whether the prices are going to further reduce or what we should expect it. According to Fannie and a lot of other um, indexes and reports that came out recently, we're being very conservative. And I've written blogs 20 plus years ago also that average stable and healthy market, I'm expecting anywhere between 3 to 5% appreciation year to year. And that's what we're projecting. And that's what we're going to continue to see in this housing market of 2024. Inventory, that's a bigger monster. Now they're in the room. We're talking about heavy inventory continue to be on the market and simply because not that people are wanting to right away sell it because the prices are going to go down. It's just because people are sick and tired of waiting game and they want to move on to the next chapter. So we are seeing a little bit uptake in our inventory in Fairfax, according to Smart Chart. I've seen about 28% active listing compared to last year, August, and in Loudoun County, about 20%. So overall, we are seeing about 20 plus active listing in the marketplace at the moment. Interest rate, we are continuing to see going down. We're almost a year and a half lower than what we were in 2023. So again, as a home buyer, you do have a stronger position. New construction. My home builders know how to kind of gauge the market. The prices are still high. That's why they're going to keep it. However, the incentives have gone up. Now they are attracting with buying down the interest rate and also the closing costs. The closing costs assistance have gone up significantly by a new construction. I'm under contract with a couple of my buyers in this fall and we all got really super duper deal, uh, which they would not have gotten in the spring if they had went in and bought it. So again, prices are still high, but incentives are high when it comes to the new construction. Overall, what I'm seeing as a veteran realtor for 20 plus years, again, it's a new year, new beginning, new chapters with a lot of things going on with election year. I'm going to continue to see a very healthy, stable market. We're going to see home sellers may have to be a little bit more realistic. Gone are the days where you put a house on the market and voila, it's under contract. Unless you have the right strategy, you're not going to get it. Buyers, committed, motivated home buyers are going to be there. Don't sit on the fence and wait it out for the interest rate to drop again in spring when the big herd comes back with the school year and stuff. If you want to capture this market, this is your golden time to do it. If you want an in-depth analysis or with your unique situation, DM me. I'm always here to share my experience at no obligation. 
and sit down with you on what's the right time and navigate you in this micro moving market of the DC metro area.